It's time for another Out of Bounds Rewind with Bo Bounds on ESPN 105.9, The Zone. Do you always do left on left, right on right, or do, does no, it just depend on what you want to do? It's uh, if, a, if a pitcher's right-handed, I hit left-handed. If the pitcher's left-handed, I hit right-handed. So yeah. I'm, I'm always going against whatever he is. And That's what I mean. Yeah, I always do Always that. do that? Yeah, I, I don't like seeing curveballs coming at okay. me. I, I, guess I like to see them uh, coming into me, so it's a lot. Okay, and so there's no – that's how it is. You're on the yep. right side of plate against the lefty. Yep. And you're on the left side against the yep. right. So that way I never see like a right-on-right right curveball. Mm-hmm. That's always kind of coming into me, not at me than away. Okay. When you're practicing, like when you're hitting this last three months or however long mm-hmm. it was during the off season, what is the split left um, to right side? Even, uh, okay. I'd say. Uh, not like some like OCD amount of even. But, okay. Uh, I'd say it, it changes, you know, some days if I don't feel good right-handed, I'll stick, stick right-handed and hit for a while. If it's not good left-handed, I'll, it's just, baseball is just such a, you know, weird thing. Like you can feel great one side of the plate one day and, and terrible the other side. And then you go into a game and, you know, the side you feel bad on is your good side during the game. It's just, it's just, you know, maintaining a good mindset of, you know, you're going to succeed whenever the lights come on and, 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 and keep fighting for that. So it, it changes, man. You, you never know what side of the plate you'll feel better. Switch hitting is a very difficult thing, though. I can't imagine. Very difficult. I couldn't even hit it's, good from one side. you you got to stay on top of two swings, you know, every single day for eight months out of the year. Yeah. That's incredible to me. I mean, the fact that you've switch hit and you do it at a high level is – and saying you told us the whole story about you and your dad mm-hmm. the last time you were in and how that John Mangum, who played for the Chicago Bears, and um, and you told us that story, which was fascinating. That thing got crushed on uh, on the podcast. I'd have to believe there are a bunch of uh, dads checking that out. Blake, you seem – we've got Jake Mangum in studio. You can watch it on the show. Uh, I'm sorry, on the cameras. Go to YouTube, search Out of Bounds Sports. And Blake? Yeah, well, I was going to say – a twofold thought off of this switch hitting topic, which I think is always such an interesting one. I do too. A, there's a reason most people say the hardest thing in sports to do is hit a baseball, but B, there's a reason 90% of people in the majors don't hit switch hit because it's hard enough doing it from one side right. every night, let alone both sides. But I wanted to ask you this question. There's a pitcher for Mississippi State that's ambidextrous. I'm sure you've Heard the story, Gerangelo. Yeah, I saw him pitch last week. Clemente, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, so I'm not going to pretend. There's rules in place to, that would decide, like, the pitcher has to declare first. So I'm not going to ask the whole, which which side would you go against him? My question is more philosophical in that Ooh. they say he throws harder from the right. He's a power thrower from a right-handed perspective, and he's a dirty breaking ball guy from the left-hand perspective. So taking that to hitting, do you find yourself more of a – get on base hitter from one side and a little more pop from the other ah, side, or is it even go. like, do you have one that you think you approach differently? How's that go? No, not really. Um, you know, d- lefties and righties are typically different pitchers though. Like majority of left-handed pitchers don't throw as hard as right-handed pitchers, uh, on average. So, I mean, that's kind of not surprising at all that, you know, Gerangelo is a little harder from the right side because most lefties are, 90 93 most righties are 93 95 in in professional baseball um does that change your approach as a switch hitter uh you know that the lefties are going to have more like deception because they're not going to get away with just blowing it by you they're going to try to get around your bat not through it um so it changes your approach a little bit um or at least my approach a little bit um you know and you know it's funny like you talk to a lot of hitters in pro ball they won't even tell you what they're looking for like they they like to keep it to themselves wow. but you know I, I tell everybody i look fastball react all speed um it's too hard to do it the other way around and there's a lot of guys that guess off speed and I, I that's just not me but you know for the most part you, you got to understand and, and then occasionally we'll face a lefty that's 98 i mean you never know but uh whenever i can't imagine it's yeah, yeah like for those of us who hit on like a T ball level, when you say it's easier to sit fastball react breaking versus sit breaking react fastball, what in layman terms, what do you mean by that? If you're expecting an 80 mile an hour breaking pitch and you get a 98 mile an hour fastball, you're not you're not hitting it. Uh, <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not hitting it. Um, you, for me, you, you gotta you know expect the the velo, the highest velocity that's coming in and. 
if you stay back, keep your hands back, um, you can adjust and hit the all speed. Uh, but if you leak forward, like to all the you know dads or kids out there that you know talk hitting, if if you leak forward, you're done. If if you start collapsing towards the pitcher and your hands come forward, you're not going to be able to react to the all speed. So uh, that that's. That's what I try to look for in my swings. As long as I'm staying, and, and I try to have the simplest swings possible. I don't like a lot of movement. I don't like a lot of, you know, extra stuff going yeah. on because it's hard enough to hit and nope. it's hard enough to figure out what's wrong with your swing. And yeah, you know, and you know, there's times in the year even even with a simple swing, you can't even figure it out. So you gotta, you know, you gotta really stay on top of your swing throughout the year. And I don't watch too much video, but if I'm out of whack, I'll go watch a couple swings and 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 try to you know hone it back in. Because you got five at bats every day, whether you want them or not. Yeah. If, if you're in a rut and you're 0 for your last 10, well, there's five more coming today, and you better be ready. Jake Mangum in the house, and the next segment will be 24 minutes. We'll do a deep dive into uh, baseball. We'll also ask him how he likes his steak cooked, and all kinds of important things like that. Maybe even get into some nonsense. Jake Mangum with the Miami Marlins, former Hell State All American. And according to our text line, both the hit king and the mayor joins us in the Bank Plus studio. Don't miss one moment of the Out of Bounds Show with Bo Bounds. Weekdays, 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. On ESPN 105.9. The Zone.